Stars are tracing the sky like city windows I watch you reflect in your eyes Well, on behalf of Matthew and Sarah and their families, I want to welcome you to this most special day of their entire lives. And they are honored that you care enough about them to witness and support this life transition. This is actually a celebration. We're celebrating two lives that God graciously brought together to become husband and wife. We're also witnessing a miracle as the two become one flesh. From this day forward, Matthew and Sarah are saying they will be the most important person in each other's lives. They are committing to opening their souls to each other and to hide nothing. And I'm Matthew and Sarah are making lifelong promises to each other in front of you and in front of God. These promises enter them into a covenant with God that's binding for the rest of their lives. One of the keys to a great marriage, which I think you guys have already started, is a great friendship. Lastly, marriage is a miracle, a miraculous joining by God's Spirit of these two people. Only God can make two people into one, and in marriage, He does just that. So it's this covenant, this companionship, and this miracle that we're here to celebrate. So Matthew, this is the opportunity for you to make some vows to your bride. So if these words are what you're willing to commit to, please repeat after me. I, Matthew, take you, Sarah. I, Matthew, take you, Sarah. I, Sarah, take you, Matthew, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health to love and cherish until death do us part. I love one of the symbolic ideas that they have decided as one of their first acts in marriage is the lighting of the unity candle. And the unity candle is very simply an illustration of two individuals who are now coming together as one. For as much as Matthew and Sarah have committed their lives to one another and have given rings as a pledge by the authority invested in me, by the Lord Jesus Christ and the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let man not separate. Matthew, you may kiss your bride. and a single woman when I went to China about 26 years ago and had a very surreal moment when they put a 12 pound baby in my lap and I was terrified. So Sarah, I have two things to say to you. One is being your mom has been the best part of my life. 
And the second thing, which you've heard me say many times before, is I got the best one. And Matthew, I don't know exactly the moment it happened, but very early on in your six and a half year relationship, I came to think that, you know, I think he thinks the same thing I think, that he got the best one. Matthew was the first friend I ever made uh, at UGA. Almost as long as I've known Matthew, I've known Sarah, and they've always been by each other's side. Their love for each other is truly an example of what a perfect marriage should be. Y'all are truly a great example of what it means to be truly in love. You make the rest of us really continue to believe in true love. I watched you both grow as individuals and as a couple over the years, and I can honestly say you're perfect together. Your love story is just easy to praise. I'm so honored to be your maid of honor, Sarah, and to call you both a friend. So cheers to the Senate. I'm so excited to continue to watch you grow and see where this marriage goes and what your future holds.